What's going on, guys? Welcome to some more modern, hot modern action here on MagicTheGathering.Internet.com. I am playing a uh, decklist that uh, my buddy Mike, not this Mike, a different Mike, <coughs> sent me, otherwise known as McGimp. Uh, that's the Irish Gimp from from the Irish translation of Pulp Fiction, the McGimp. And it's also a McDonald's meal that you can get, the McGimp. But we're going to play this Bant Time Walkers list. Time Walkers is a really cool name for the deck. Uh, because it's Time Walks and Planes Walkers. So calling it Time Walkers, I'm a big fan of that. But we got three Tefs, like you do. Two Garricks, like you do. Hey Mike, tell me what the win condition for this deck is. What's your most common win condition? Because obviously you can win through like Jace Bellerin or Teferi Ultimate. Um, but there's no sure. creatures. Make a bunch of dogs. <clears throat> yeah, I guess you can make beasts. I just want to know what the most common one is so that I'm not like dirtling around and like doing something. Because you could like sit here and make a... Not know to make the beasts with Garrick. And then just be like, oh, I should have been making beasts to win. Garrick beasts and part land. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. And then you have four Nexus of Fate, which is fantastic. Um, obviously replacing things like Temporal Manipulation. Logic Knot is a card I'm really interested in here. I didn't, I didn't like it at first because... Your deck actually doesn't have that many cards that go to the graveyard. Like, it's only Fogs and Serum Visions. Yeah, the Snapcasters... And you never want to Snapcast through this. Well, I like Snap a lot because of Time Warps. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, Like, that's that's classic. That's fantastic. What's that other blue card? Cryptic Command. Okay. Cryptic Command. You can read it because it's one of the uh, it's one of the masterpieces, but it's on Magic Online where they use a normal font that normal people. And that would read. be so much better in real life. I this this would be completely. They this look would, cool. Like the art's cool. This would be a completely premium product in my opinion if it just had this text i mean it still technically is a premium product they still cost a lot of money so yeah you're right fetch lands all oh, fetch lands also go to the bin yeah all right buddy whatever you say yeah i don't know three logic knots seems like a lot though i wonder if like mana leak or something is better but it's your deck you did you went 4-0 the other day so we're gonna give it a go we're gonna give it a wheel also, this one Lyra on the sideboard, that's pretty funny. You're like, yeah, I'll stick a lot. I, I opened a Lyra in my Dominaria packs. So I'll put her in the sideboard, sure. Every, everybody out there, sip your dirty bean water. I just have water with a little flavor spritz in it. So. So, dirty flavored water? Yeah. Okay. Well, your bean water is also flavored, right? It's true. I put some Italian cream in it, Italian sweet cream. That sounds not like what you want in your coffee. Let me get a little of that sweet cream. That Italian sweet cream. I got I got some Italian sweet cream for you, buddy. Get your mind out of the gutter, buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. What are what's our what's our taco? What's our plan tonight? Tacos? Well, I do want to play some commander. So oh maybe. my god, are you really gonna not get are we not getting tacos? I need my fix. What man. time does your commander start? It starts at six. <sighs> We could go to uh, Taco Bus. They're open till like midnight. Did you get fla I didn't actually get falafel just because I didn't feel like going anywhere. I was like, you know what? I don't feel like leaving. I just made I made a frozen pizza and I made some. Uh, What's the matter? You don't like some falafel? Cr some cream spinach. All right, we can spin. Uh, two party Jace bugs. <laughs> What's party Jace? Who's party Jace? Who is this party Jace you speak of? Ooh, this is interesting. It is interesting. I didn't. I didn't remember seeing Serum Vision in this deck. Oh, they're over here. I moved them with the fogs. I see. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep it because the Serum Vision. So, Falafel is so. It is pretty good. I'm a big fan. I'm a Falafel fan. <clears throat> oh yeah, send me some. That'd be great. Can you mail it to me? Jace Bellerin's party Jace because he draws everyone cards. Yeah, we never do that, though. Oh. Fascinating. Well, now I don't know if I want to Serum Visions because we got this thing. Hmm. Fascinating. Or not because we got this thing. Because we got this thing. That's what I meant. Um, I really don't want to take an extra two if we're playing against a burn deck, so I'm not going to do it. What's up, ew? You're skinny. Oh, we got a discard because they... Yeah, I'll get rid of the Logic Knot. This feels like a bad matchup. Is this a bad matchup? Possibly. Your fogs are less effective because they probably have a bunch of burn. You don't know about fogs. 
I will warn you, I haven't played against Burn yet. Well, here we go. Here we go. My best guess is it's bad. That would be my guess as well. Ooh, Eidolon. That's rough. It's not good. It's not good. Well, there's no real removal in this deck. How does this deck beat an Eidolon? I feel like it dies. <sighs> like, do we even want to see our visions here? I don't ever want to... Well, I mean, is it even worth three? Like, <laughs> we prevent four by fogging next turn, but we actually take two to do it. Ugh, God. This is just such cringe. I think we still see our visions. Go to 14. I think we're dead. Yeah, this matchup seems pretty rough. It's not ideal. You are actual goats. Wow, we drew we drew the old Nexus of Fate. Number three. Triple Nexus of Fate hand. That's a good one. I guess we fog. Yeah, so as someone who has had a bunch of uh, a bunch of reptiles in the past, do be careful with your with your uh, with your caretaking of them because they're not necessarily the most easy to take care of. You have to make sure they get enough protein. You have to make sure they get enough calcium. There's lots of things to be careful of with with reptiles that some people just don't know about. Also depends on the reptile. Some are easier than others. Yeah. Yeah, you have to make sure they have the correct lighting. You have to make sure that the temperature is regulated because they're cold-blooded. Um, lots of things to be careful about, so be sure you do that. You're playing Burn. I don't think you're the victim here. Oh my god. This is the third time I've played against this deck today. Why? Crush it every time. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Like, I don't really want to play Fertile Ground. We can't. We're dead. Like, we take four next turn no matter what. We have nobody stop four. If we play anything, and this is not, this is a Utopia Sprawl, not a Fertile Ground. <clears throat> they do the same thing, right? Uh, yes. I'm going to bring this nature's claim. <sighs> Why? Uh, because it can kill Eidolon. Oh, true. It's not great. Anything that kills Eidolon. That's really the problem creature. Goblin guy we really don't care about. Lyra seems good. Oh, Corsair seems great here. Yes. Yes. Two cuts. Um. I feel like it's dictate. I really want to give them cards. Yeah. I agree it's with kind that. of against our plan, but. No, that makes sense. Yep, Mike's a dictate too. Everybody wins. What do they win? Okay. Yeah, this is better. Two or more basics, so I'll play you first, I guess. Yeah, this feels like a buy for the burn deck, unfortunately. I don't know, as long as he doesn't have two Eidolons, I think our hand's actually pretty good against him. Like, if you can't kill Corsair, you probably just went off that.
Hold on one second, guys. I went to 6-2, so that's good. <clears throat> they probably killed five lightning bolts on an island. I mean, a, Oh, they an went island. to five, so now an island? I fixed it. I fixed my my island joke. Was it an did island? Did you keep the part on top or did you bottom it? I bottomed it. Okay. It cost six mana, Michael. See, now we can draw land. Oh, we drew a fog. Okay. That's also kind of good. It's not terrible. Someone is wrong on the internet. Oh, God. I guess, I guess this fog is going to be good. Mother of God. Well, they have yet to... Alright, well, that's pretty good. But do we block, though? Oh, yeah, 100% block, especially with the second courser. You can't just take four a million times. We'll be dead. I guess also if we trade a burn spell plus a goblin guide, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. Especially if these goblin guides hit lands for us. Yep, yeah, it's... Oh, okay. Well, how many lands are in here, Mike? I think it's 20. 20 lands or 21 lands. I think that's really ambitious. You have oh, wow. seven drops and six drops. What are you doing, man? Yeah, that seems seems a little cray-cray. That's amazing to me. 21 lands seems crazy. I get you got Utopia Sprawls, but if you don't have lands to put those Utopia Sprawls on... Oof. I thought this was a draft for a second. Well, it says modern right in the title, right? Oh, Jesus. Well. Blood Braid Elf one time. Or just a destructive revelry. Yep, that's good too. Yep, don't draw. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, Utopia's Pearl definitely, definitely... Any land that needs another land definitely doesn't count as 25 lands. Doesn't count as a land. Okay, and then we draw Lyra. Alright, well, I guess we can put it in the graveyard. Fog but, it up, boy. What? I don't know why you didn't fog there. For two? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, most of his other damage is going to be out of hand, so... You're going to be out of hand. Wow. This whole courtroom <clears> is out of hand. Also, how many forests do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven lands, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Okay, so we have fifteen ways to get a forest on turn one. Yep. Unfortunately. Hey, we hit a land, but there's nothing but really like four Nexus of Fate might be too many. I I'd probably just cut a Nexus for a land. We can definitely I can definitely see claiming this to to gain four if we have to. God, it feels bad. Jesus. See, now we can save four damage. If they skull crack, I mean, we're still dead, right? Uh, yes. Man, skull crack is an absurd magic card. Yep, here we go. Yep, yeah, amazing. Man, this is the third time I've played against this deck today. Yeah, nobody cares. Yep, alright. Well, I'm gonna cut a Nexus. I don't actually like four, three Logic Knots is excessive too. Come on. Come on. Let's fix this. You want a Garrick to untap these. I'm gonna add one Garrick and one more land. I'd rather add two lands and cut a Garrick. Okay. Yeah, that seems better. I don't like four forests, though. Uh, Misty, Flood Strand. Could add another fetch. God, another fetch? So many fetches. Actually, dry my eyes out. Another fetch. Stop trying to make fetch happen. 
Another island will also probably be okay. Dryad armor. Ugh. I actually do kind of like an extra... Yeah, I don't think we need three Teferi. Teferi seems... Three Teferi is a bit much in modern. Three Garak, however. That's a man I can get behind. Why, is it, why isn't Jace the Mind Sculptor in this deck? Why isn't there Jace the Mind Sculptor in this deck? Explain that to me, McGimp. Mickles, Mickagimples. Why isn't there Jace? Is he, he is really good and draws cards. That's correct. But you can't have more than one in play at the same time, you Plus, know. Well, Jace is a really easy win condition when you're taking a bunch of turns. Jace is also really good and draws cards. I needed more three drops? That's why you don't have Jace the Mind Sculptor? He was the small Jace? Who's, what are you saying right now? I think he's drunk. God, I hate it when he gets like this. What's a party, Jace? This Jace. We already went over this. Oh, okay. We had a whole conversation about it. We had a whole conversation about it. Well, we did. Let's... Like, I think Jason Mines was like... Well, not better than Fury, maybe. I don't know. Fury seems pretty good. Well, maybe not better than to vary. Is this how you're going to be? This is how I was born to be. Hmm. Alright, we need one more land. I don't know what it should be, though. I want it to be a forest. But maybe we don't need it to be a forest, because we have 16 green sources to get on turn one for Utopia Sprawl. Seems like a lot. You seem like a lot, you scum bucket. Wow. I'm get a hollowed fountain. We don't have a hollowed fountain, right? Yeah, I like that. We do have prairie streams, though. Aren't hollowed fountains just better than prairie streams? No, because they're, you mean you're, you're going to take two. You can still search for these with... Uh... Yeah, I know that. What about a green land? Actually, getting one of the green ones here is nice, because then you can get it on, like... What's it called? I think it's actually also... No, it's not prairie. What's it called? Scattered? No, that's the... I think that's the green white one, yeah. Well, that's the green white one, but it's the almond cat one. So we're looking at the what's the what's the green white one of these called? Wow, four Teferi. Well, that's that seems completely wrong. <laughs> what the hell is the green one called? Someone tell me what the green one is. Four T for a while. What is that? Oh, four T. Is that Teferi? Jesus. Yeah, no deck in modern needs four or five mana planeswalkers. That's ambitious. That's just silly. Oh my god! If no one tells me the friggin' name of this land. Oh my Scribe god! it is. Green white Zendikar Canopy Vista. Thank you. Affinity. Thank you. I was going to have to look it up like a savage. Alright, we're going to add one Canopy Vista, take out one Prairie Stream, and now we have one Hollow Fountain, one Canopy, one Prairie, one Temple. The, the nice thing about Canopy Vista is that it is a forest, so you can search for it with things like Flooded Strand or Misty Rainforest, and you can still put oh, a Utopia. you can't search for it with... Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Go on. I fixed it. How many things are you going to have to fix today? I don't know. My whole life. As your fake father, I'm very disappointed in you. Your whole life? Yeah. Good lord. You're all I've got tonight. A double moonwalker? I don't know what that means. What's uh, a moonwalker? I don't know what a moonwalker is either. I really don't like any hand with Nexus. Yeah, I like a hand with two lands and a search rank has Kanta, though. I don't hate that. We can run out this Vista. This is definitely has no doubling season blood moons. No. Did it take five minutes? I feel like it didn't even take five minutes. It was pretty short. Man, Hungry Howies can't deliver to you? You should go get some Hungry Howies and uh, bring it to the horses and you guys can share a 
Please don't be another burn match. Can I go to my draw step? I bet this clip is the entire the entire round one. Well, you can't totally. search for it with... Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> go on. I fixed it. How many things are you going to have fixed today? I don't know. My whole life. As your fake father, I'm very disappointed in you. Go on. I'm just going to get an island here. I don't feel like taking infinite damage from this idiot. I'll take two more points of burn. You're alive and gone tonight. You know that song? You don't you know, know all I've got tonight? No, I don't know that you song. Don't know the, you know the Cars? Rico Kasich? From the 80s? What's but, that? What's the 80s? It's, it's, where, uh, it's where I gave birth to you. In the 80s. It's weird because I thought I was born in 91. Joke's on you then, isn't it? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, don't be blocking... Don't be blocking how internet. How internet's good people. Oh God, Jesus! Oh, Mike's so young. I'm 27. I don't think I'm that young. That's actually not that young. I think when you're three years away from 30, you're really you're not really that. Hey, we missed our third land drop. That's cool. I'm having a good time. Mike, how does you go 4 0 with this deck? It has no lands in it. Is this just a Snapcaster with no value? That's weird to me. I think anyone born in the 90s is young. Well, think about this someone who was born in 2000 is 18 now. So that let that make you feel old. Jesus, that's that's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, that's super awkward. Someone who was born in the year... Uh, wow. That's insane. That's eight. Jesus. I'll take three, I guess. Apparently, I should mold a sprawl. You're all I've got tonight. Yep, that's going to go in the graveyard. Hey! Everybody wins. Everybody's having a good time. You can play party, JC. Here. Yeah, I could also just play a dictate at the EOT. That's true. I bet it gets countered. I bet they counter it. Mother of God. I feel like we're in. I feel like we're constantly behind. This is like blue red value deck, or maybe it's Kiki Jiki combo. Your mother's a Kiki Jiki combo. A Kajiki Jiki. Yeah, a Kajiki Jiki. I was born in '84, and in balding, it's far less distinguished than graying. That's fair. You're all I've got tonight. Oh, I gotta crack this idiot. Kapew! This is where they go stifle you. Trick bind, dummy! <laughs> Make sure to get a blue source. You're a blue source, you f friggin' weirdo. They have four cards in hand. This is 100% getting countered. I bet they cryptic command and bounce our land. It's because they have no soul. Wow. Man, he doesn't want to draw a card? What's wrong with him? <sighs> yep. Hey, look! We have two Teferis. There's one of them. We should maybe we should have had a fourth one, a third and a fourth. It's kind of uh, like Jace here play Fog. I, or I guess Cryptic or Fog and play uh, Dictated in turn again. No, oh, reband this one too, stupid. <laughs> My whole hand is reband. Oh, well, I'll be a biscuit. Well, I'll be... I mean, Jace is just going to die because they have Grim Lava Mancer, but maybe they attack it instead. 
Who knows? Also, they could just counter our fog and kill us. <laughs> Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Nope. What are the odds they don't have a counter spell? Zero percent. Burr, 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 burr. Yep, here we go. Had a good time. Had a good time. Mike always looks bored. That's his literal default mode. That's why I'm always trying to liven him up. Hey, man, how you what do you think? How you doing? You doing okay? What are you doing? Hey. And then he just Don't he doesn't do anything. Don't you again. What? What's that from? My dad. That's from your dad? That's very strange. Dispels coming in. I really don't like fog. It seems real bad. Yeah, in this matchup it doesn't seem great. I do like Supreme Verdict. I also like Lyra. I don't like Logic Knots either. Man, I would play this deck totally differently than you. I would probably just main deck a lot of these other cards and just be like... Cool. Caddyshack being 38 doesn't surprise me, I guess. Oh, God, it seems... Maybe it does. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Mike looks like Frank drank the last of the chocolate milk and tried to replace it with banana milk. Mike would actually... Okay, A, Mike is the only one who buys chocolate milk, like, on the regular. And B, Mike would actually love banana milk. That he would... F that's his favorite everything. If there's a banana flavor I mean, thing. I've never had banana milk, but I really like bananas, so. They're called bononos. Apples and bononos. Um, Billy Biscuits. Bushy, who shelters all. Bushy. That's a little bushy. It's like a little boofy, but. Well, a little bushy is a different rapper. Don't get it confused. Don't get it, don't get it twisted, all right? Well, Sweetie Boy be going to the corner store today? I can't. It's hard to tell when Sweetie Boy goes to the corner store. TJ, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're just going to get a breeding pool here. And not take two, because I don't think it's actually super worth it to. I was actually planning on serum visioning, but I'm like, eh, we don't really have to take two to do that. What's your favorite salad from gr Sweet Green? Um, if Sweet Green means Hungry Howie salads, I I don't know about ordering a salad from a pizza I chain. have no idea what Sweet Green is. I've never been to a Sweet Green in my life. Now we're going to Serum Viz. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at it? Um, we have another land, so I'm gonna put you on the bottom. And oh, sweet. Top. Okay, sweet greens is in Florida, so I guess it's like a chain or something. What's your favorite type of salad in general? My favorite is a Caesar salad. <laughs> it's a Caesar salad. Sweet greens is like a salad bar kind of place. Uh, we have sweet tomatoes, which is a salad bar, which is pretty good. How do you think the Jacksonville mass shooting affects the gaming community? Uh, I don't know if I, I mean it. It affects as much as any other mass shooting, right? I mean, look, man, if it's not established by now that crazy people with guns are going to be killing people wherever they are, whether it's a movie theater or a gaming center or a Walmart, um, I mean, it should be. It should be established by now. And again, I'm not going to get into a gun discussion, but the U.S. seems to be the only place where it happens on the regular. Like literally every week. Yep. But it's okay, man. It's There's no gun problem. I'm just going to get a planes here, actually, because that means we can cast Supreme Verdict. Well, this guy's getting countered 1,000%. We can cast Garrick. The only thing we can't cast is Cryptic Command, so... 
That means we'll draw real soon. <laughs> Next turn. That means it's getting remanded. I didn't see any other non-remand counter spells, so we'll see if we'll see if that's a thing that they have. You're all I've got to neck. What? Say what? I'll just make a beastie. I have a feeling Garrick's gonna die. Next turn, if they go Lightning Bolt here, they can go attack Garrick for two, attack our face for two. I am in Clearwater, Florida. Yeah, there's not a gun problem, even though no other country has problems with guns, just us. So, yeah, but that sounds accurate. I'm sure that's a. Untapped a spell would be fine, but if they play anything, they can still just attack this guy for four. So it's like, I'd rather just get a value out of a beast. Whereas any spell gives them the uh, the, the the prowess trigger. I mean, I don't I don't presume that Garrick is going to survive, so. Yep. This is going to lightning bolt our face. Wizards lightning our face. I actually like this deck a lot. This deck seems sweet. You mean our opponent's deck? Uh, pernicious dude, I would, I would 100% hang out. Well, I live in Chicago, which has the strictest gun laws in the country by far, and large amount of gun violence. Yeah, well, it's, it is possible to get guns from other states and bring them into Chicago. There's no border. When I was driving through the U.S., I could easily drive into Chicago from a different state where the gun laws are much more lax. Unless you have national uh, a national f fix for that, it doesn't actually matter if your specific state has, has rougher gun laws. Like, it has n no bearing on that. Good lord. Oh, you're going to do the old... Alright, so Teferi's dead now. That's good times. I agree that this stream is not the correct place to discuss your 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 gun fetishes and why you think you should be able to own things that have no purpose other than murder. But, I mean, let's... We'll, uh, we'll save it for another time. Yeah, Black Cross is clearly being sarcastic. They have four cards in hand still? Our deck is just not... What's it doing? I don't know what it's doing. What's going on? Can I draw a Supreme Verdict? That's all I really want. Supreme Verdict me one time. Oh my god, it would be amazing. Can you imagine a Supreme Verdict here? Well, that's close to a Supreme Verdict in the sense that maybe it's a Supreme Verdict. Can you imagine if our deck had uh, two more Teferis in it? That seems bad, right? Supreme Verdict. Oh. Yum. Pretty, 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 pretty good. If you could get a t-shirt, mm -hmm. and this is the last thing I'm going to say about it. If you can get a t-shirt and you had to put two things, two objects that, uh, what do you call it? Like, best represent America to you, what would they be? 
two 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 physical objects or you know foods whatever hmm. we're still probably a gun and a beer can okay i wouldn't say beer i don't think america's super known for beer but i would say a gun and a bacon oh yeah those are the two objects that americans like fetishize um and it's really like like creepily so god guess we could just go to six keep it a spell up what about a gun made of bacon yeah that's basically it I mean, they don't have damage on the board to get rid of our Teferi, so that's good. I feel like you want more two-minute counter spells here, but I don't think Logic Knot is the one you want. Although a Logic Knot here would be nice, because then we can cast both Logic Knot and Dispel, but... Well, that's nice of you. What? No, don't play the stupid... What? Of course there's other, there's there's turkey bacon. There's also probably vegetarian veggie bacon. That's definitely a thing. There's definitely veggie bacon. I don't think I've ever had veggie bacon. I've had veggie sausage and veggie burgers and... Can't say I've ever had veggie bacon. Yep, pay your costs. <sighs> Boy. <laughs> Mike, how did you go 4 0 against very, very good decks? I don't understand it. I have, like, my hand is gets clogged with Nexus of Fates and stuff. I just think this deck has. Like, Remand is just so good against you. What do I think of the deck Saffron Olive post today? I have no idea. I don't keep up with Saffron Olive on the regular, so I couldn't actually tell you. Um, They were creature decks. Well, that was a creature deck. That one had creatures. I think he means, like, mid-range. I know what he Jund. means. I'm just getting angry. Yeah, just... this deck is probably really good against, like, Jund. Well, even then, I don't really? know. Thoughtseize is pretty bad. Thoughtseize is bad, Bloodbraid Elf, Liliana's bad, like all those cards. Like, how do you deal with a Liliana once they resolve a Liliana? I don't think you do. I eat veggie sausage patties, which are like uh, Morningstar, and they're actually freaking delicious. They taste like regular sausage. Yeah, there's no real discernible difference. It's unbelievable. Yeah, but you just have to survive and have enough cards in hand to take the turns. Like, once you get to turn five with this deck against, like, Jund, like, 20 tickets to DC? Uh, probably not great, I would imagine. Oh, I think someone played this against us yesterday, maybe? No, they didn't. They just had... St maybe they did, actually. No, I think their deck had Venge Vines in it. This is actually probably fine. I mean, it's it's a fun like budget deck, definitely. Why do you need to use the word that is used for the meat item? Because people wouldn't know what it's supposed to be emulating. Like the reason it's called sausage is because it tastes like sausage. It has the same spices and texture of sausage. So they have to use the... Like, I don't know why that's an issue. Like, that's weird. Like, it's the same name as the meat product because you literally... Well, they can't call it, like, veggie discs, di veggie sassy discs because people wouldn't know what they're called. Like, would they, what, what am I buying? I don't know what this is supposed to be eating. Like, you're literally trying to emulate the meat product that people are used to. It's It's... Like... Veggie meatless rounds. Yeah, like, I mean, no one's going to know what they're like. Okay, what is this supposed to taste like? 
when I buy a veggie sausage patty, I know exactly what I'm getting because it's going to taste like sausage. I don't know, like... We also have an idiot Utopia Sprawlins. I really don't like the fogs, I'll be honest. Like, in, in, there's not enough creatures in Modern where you're, like, wanting to fog. Like, shouldn't they just be Path to Exiles or something? I think fogs might be better in the board. Yeah, there's so many decks in Modern where, like... like, Affinity for something like... like or, like, Crack Clan Ironworks. Like, fogs are actually just dead cards in a lot of matchups. What if we actually did play Fertile Grounds? Oh, I got Old Timey Fertile Grounds? Let's use those instead. How do I have seven Old Timey Fertile Grounds? I wouldn't add a Jace? Oh, well. Guess we differ in opinions there, don't we, dummy? <laughs> Got him. I got him. You did say it, so. Oh, when you say, oh, that you only meant well. We're going to name Blue. Arbor Elf first. Huh. Doesn't well, that make us more vulnerable to creature removal? Yeah, that re that's really bad, actually. Which seems like much that. more prominent. This is old Nick D with another Spire Bluff Canal. Just mono Spire Bluff Canals for, for today. Why Tribe Builder? But I like Fertile Ground better because it actually synergizes with the Garrick that we have. Right? Like, don't we want more lands to untap with Utopia Sprawl? I'll synergize with Teferi as well. Correct. We have two Planeswalkers that untap lands. We don't really want to thin the deck. We've literally, the first two matches, we've had mana problems. Why are we thinning the deck? Yeah, like, we have Nexus of Fate, we have yet to get seven mana. I have yet to hit, yeah, I have yet to cast a seven mana. Heck, I barely cast five mana spells like Teferi and uh, Time Warp. Yeah, I also don't think Snapcaster's good in this deck. Uh, you don't actually flashback cheap spells with Snapcast, so you snap, you flashback time warps. And cryptic commands. If you're looking at Snapcast as a two drop that's flashing back something cheap, you're doing it wrong. Well, there's no fogs here anymore. Yeah, that guy's gone. Unless they dispel this, which is probably gonna happen. They have main board dispels. That'd be gross. What's a main board? Main deck. What's a main deck? Go Rook! Go Rook! Go Rook is on fire! That's from the... Um, Someone please put him out. He will die if you do not. He, he will die if you do not. Uh, it's from uh, the Bloodhound Gang. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. I would play it, but then we'll get demonetized. You know how you know how we, you know how we do. One, two, three. So we can actually Nexus of Fate next turn. Garrick seems extremely relevant for this deck. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, being able to go from four to seven is pretty insane. well, but of course you did. No. Hmm. 
what can we do here? We can go one, two, three, untap, untap, four, five, one, two, three, four. Oh, we can actually do some shenanigans here. Y'all ready for this? We actually want a, a white here. Are you ready for the shenanigans? I'm waiting. Okay, well, keep waiting. Oh! Oh, no. Mistakes were made! Mistakes were made! Don't resolve! I'm not good at Magic the Gathering! Mistakes were indeed actually, made. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're now we're one try. Oh, well, that's okay. They were made it anyway, so I don't feel as bad. It's okay. It's okay. We did it. You must have two targets for Garrick? What? We have multiple lands. What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Here comes... <laughs> Here comes the CPS. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow, you guys are really jumping on the punt. If only I... Oh, okay. I was like, every time I read chat, I just assume you're talking to me and not talking at each other. Here we go. This is where we die. Sure. But of course you did what you say. I'll put a counter on my pyromancer ascension. Maybe you don't die. That is uh, an alternative. Blop, blop. Those all just have six, right? Maybe. What if I want to play a Snapcaster? You don't know my life. Do you know my life? I know that that wouldn't make much of a difference. What if it throws them off their game and then they concede? I'd say there's a pretty low chance of that happening. So you're saying there's a chance? I guess I am. Nailed it. Oh, they just whiffed. Fantastic. What are the odds they got another remand? Let me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do we have ten mana? So we can actually play Teferi twice. Alright, let's try this again. Tapped land, tapped land. Whew. Okay. We did it, boys. Let's draw a card. Old Sprowl. Sprowl. Okay, if they didn't counter that, they're probably not countering Nexus, right? Blue. One, two, three, four. I like how you didn't attack. That's good. Shut up! I'm, I'm trying to do lots of things, Michael! God! Wait, next to the face is an instant? Yeah, you didn't, didn't know, know this? Oh, I, wish I, could, I wish I could play the dictate here, too. At the beginning of each player's draw step. Oh, boy, we're doing that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, we're doing a thing here. I will pay two life for that. Um let's go. Green blue. Tap you and you. Cast of the Waken on this island in particular. Uh, we did all the things, I guess. Attack for nine. And... 
Origami. Hello! Nailed it. Would have drawn a Logic Notarino. And then from the Teferi, would have drawn a land. Unexciting. Got him! I wonder if Angel's Grace is good here. Actually, Angel's Grace seems like gas. They go off and try to kill us, then Angel's Grace. I always want these Logic Knots out of the deck. It's very strange. Should we Verdict? No. Okay. Rest in peace. Angel's Grace and Dispel and Dispel. All right. Was it worth running out Snapcast for end of turn just to have the Sun the Sure win? Um. Well, no, because like I mean, you could have sure, but I mean, like the fact is they would have countered Nexus of Fate, which is the first counter, which is the first extra turn we took and actually killed them. Uh, instead of letting us just end our turn. Or they would have countered Tefri. Like, we have, they have multiple targets that there, there are must-counter spells, so they, there's no way that part of the water bell is not resolving there, unless they're like, oh, but, you know, I'll just be cute about it. I also want this nature's claim. Uh, I don't actually know if the... I don't think the storm deck actually runs bolts. That doesn't seem ideal. Oh, they might with Pyromancer's Ascension. With Pyromancer's Ships. Ascension. I hear you, buddy. Do you? That's some good ice chewing. Yep. Yep. Always, Oop. always a pleasure. What do we cut? We need one more cut. Search for Ascanta? Sure. Deal. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. I'll keep it. This is a good one. I'll keep it. Ugh. This is that high quality content you guys you guys are here for. I'm just... going to mental misstep this. Yeah, that'd be gas. Nope, they're just... Oh, we drew a... Oh, yeah. Put you on top, put you on the bottom, unfortunately. Mike B with the sick burn. Is it? Is it a burn? Was it? Oh, it... <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to play a two-mana relevant card for my Decorino. Oh, a dispel? Yeah, we'll keep you on top. Can Mike cosplay the State Puff Marshmallow Man if he had 400 subs? God, I hope so. I, mean, I guess I could. Just need a bunch of pillows and some duct tape. Pillows and some... Yeah, if I had 400, we'll do we'll do a Mike Stay Puff Marshmallow cosplay with a bunch of tape and pillows. That sounds amazing. For who, though? For who? Everyone, Everyone in this room right now. So us two, that's it. Sure. There's only two people in this room. These people are all in the room, man. They're in the chat room. You literally said room in the name. I think you just I think you just <laughs> Why do I inv I God, I'm always like, man, you want to stream together? You didn't invite like, me, I just showed up, man. I just Yeah, that's the story of our friendship. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. You didn't invite me. I just showed up. The Frank and Mike story. What are you doing? You got this desperate ritual. Take four? It's not. It's like two. It's like three. Alright. This. Alright. Oh, are they going to empty the Warrens after this? That would be good. Empty the Warrens even legal in this format? Yeah, it's in the same set as Grape Shot. Is it? Yes, it's a time sh What? What do you think Empty the Warrens came from? My dad. Oh. Yep, there you go. Eight Warrens have been emptied. Not 
Not sure we can deal with that, unfortunately. Like, we go to 13, we go to 12, and then it's just almost lethal. He's going to grape you again. <laughs> yeah, fog. Fog would be real good. That would save us for an entire turn. One whole turn. You're the guy, my, 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 that's literally, that's the, that's the, that's the life, the, what do you call it? The, um, the life gain guy who's like, see, if you gained 10 life here, you'd be in great shape. I'd be like, yeah, for one turn, right? I don't know how we get out of this mess. I think we're dead. We're going to go to two here. Sometimes that's all you need. Yeah, but not this time. Not this time. Lyra. I still can't get over it, that, that Forteferi comment. If you had infinity life gain cards, you, well, you wouldn't always win. You'd actually never win because life gain by itself doesn't win. You wouldn't lose, perhaps. But you would definitely not always win. I also don't think you have the time to really play this, but I don't know, man. I like one search in the deck better. Alright, we're going to Supreme Verdict now, because... I almost don't like Cryptic Command in this deck. Or not in this deck, but like in this matchup. Shut up and take my money. A life gained is a life earned. Avenger... <laughs> is that... Is that true? I think so. Is it? Yes. Oh, there's a fog in the sideboard that I forgot to take out. Gross. Yeah, so what does that do for us? I think search is fine if it flips, um, especially. But the problem is, like, when it flips, you're already probably going off. Yep. Ugh. I'll keep it because of the scry and the serum vision. No. All right, they went to six two, so I guess we're we're the same, you and I. We drew a dispel. I believe I want both of these. Oh, I see. Real original, buddy. I would never consider search pseudo ramp. If you're ramping from like your fifth land to your sixth land, that's not really where I want to be. You heard that? What did you hear? I don't understand what's happening. Also, one nature's claim does not seem like it's enough. I kept this guy on top, but now I'm wondering. He's oh. pretty good. What? Said he's pretty good. Yeah, but we don't have a second green, let alone a th fourth land. Also, it's worth noting that if we we had a dispel in hand, if we countered the desperate ritual last game, it might have made a difference. I mean, it might have been prolonging the inevitable, but I mean, I don't know. I don't think the desperate ritual is ever what you want to really counter. But Oh man, I hate to say it. Controversial opinion, but I am not a huge Loading Ready Run fan. I like the guys. I like the Loading Ready Run guys. I like them as people, but I'm not a big fan of Loading Ready Run content. Same. It's very... Like, the, the humor is very rigid. It seems very, very over the top. Alright. We need a green here. Okay, 
I think it's just bad acting. Like, the acting itself is not good. It's always like, well, why do you think I want to do that? Well, let me tell you. And I'm just like, oh, God, stop. Just, just be more real. Just talk like you're having a conversation. It just reminds me of the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, but only like... Without the laugh track. <laughs> just... Oh, God. I don't feel good about anything that's happening in this it's match. It's your friend, Baral. I don't think Baral has been... Yeah, this is... We're gonna... We've learned our lesson. What's magic the cringening? I don't know what that is. I feel, I feel like you're... Oh, alright. Never didn't have it. Which is actually funny, because they're probably gonna even... They're gonna be better now. I love Magic the Amethyst. Maria, Maria and Megan are great. I don't understand. That's, that's see, that's weird. That that I don't understand. So your last card is just gonna be empty the Warrens here. I've never seen Magic the Amethyst. Well, it's just a, it's just uh, they mostly it's podcast, right? Like it's not oh, okay. even. Well, then I, I mean, they might do it. videos to accompany it, but, yeah. So even if we hit um, even if we hit land, we we have to hit land and Supreme Verdict now. Correct. I'm not drawing either of my ramp spells. Boy, that sure is a lot of goblins, Rick. I don't equate things to Big Bang Theory because they like nerdy things like you do. I equate things to Big Bang Theory because it's poor. It's often badly written jokes. Um, and it's presented with a nerd subtext. And they think because they have this clever nerd subtext that they can get away with bad jokes that aren't actually inherently funny. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, they have no cards. So, we're not dead. 10, 14, 15. So, we actually have to get... We can't We can't actually play Garrick here, unfortunately. So, we're going to pass. Hope we get a Supreme Verdict. And you draw a land. Come on, verdict time. Put him into the trash can. Oh, we didn't do it. It was another Garrick. What's the next card? I think we're 03 right now. Oh, there's a sprawl. We found it. We are indeed 03. We have yet to win a match. You might have been able to... Go. How would we go off? Oh, well, maybe because we had a thing. William, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I did not get that impression from Stranger Things 2. I did not feel like it was at any point sacrificing storyline for references. I mean, I don't even know what references they had. Like, like a poster in the background, maybe? Like, that doesn't seem like... The fact that I can't... The fact that I can't remember any of the references in Stranger Things Season 2, but I remember all the storyline, I think that says a lot. I don't think you care about countering their stuff. Like, you, this is a tap-out deck, right? The, t the Taking Turns deck is a tap-out deck. You want to tap out to play a Time Warp, or a Teferi, or a Garrick, or a Time Warp, or a Garrick, or a Teferi, or a Time Warp. You understand? No, repeat it, please. I'm getting these out of here. I'm adding more of these things. I also think you want more dictates instead of Jace's, but... Then do it. I did. I don't think you want Supreme Verdict Man, I just don't think there's enough things that warrant that. Uh, I think Snapcaster... So here's the list that I, I put together previously that I'm, I'm actually a big fan of. I don't actually know if I still have it. What if I got rid of it? Wow, I deleted my own... My own turns list that I was super fond of. That's you fun. killed your own baby. I did. That's really weird. 
interesting. I'll have to find it. Um, but I think Snapcasters are fine because you have time warps. Like you're not actually. It's basically at, later in the game. It's either a it's it's a time warp basically. So, and if you had serum visions, it's totally fine. Oh, we're gonna take out one search. Yeah, there was one fog in the sideboard, and I was like, what are you even doing here? I also don't know if I care about Angel's Grace. Like, what is Angel's Grace for? Combo decks. Did you say goblin decks? Combo decks. Goblin decks? Why not Farseek over Fertile Ground? Um, I guess you could play Farseek. Uh, because Fertile Ground combos with both Garrick and Teferi, that's why. Um... Let me see if I can find the deck. Hold on one second, guys. Past year. It's got to be in the past year. Oh, this was it. I think this was it. And we finished somewhere. Yeah, we had two Eternal Witnesses, too. I like Eternal Witness in the deck. Uh, Thing in the Ice was also an option. We didn't have Garrix. We had Jace the Mind Sculptor and... Snappy Boys. Here, I'll actually clip this so you guys can see the deck that I previously had. And you can see my face in it, too, which is kind of funny. I don't think this Chalice is supposed to be here. Yeah, that's actually incorrect. Hold on. We were in the middle of sideboarding. Okay. So this is the deck we were playing previously. There's two Teleria Wests in there, which is interesting. Um, exhaustion. Actually, Exhaustion is the card. I, I was like, isn't there a, like a isn't there a time walk effect that's like cheaper? Because there's actually a point where you can Garrick and you can probably untap a Utopia Sprawler Fertile Grounded Land and be able to exhaustion here. Yeah, Exhaustion is also insane with Snapcaster. Like, Exhaustion... I feel like Exhaustion is the card you're missing. It's basically a time warp for three mana. And especially with these guys, you can probably... Well, not with Teferi, but, like, with Garrick, you can actually untap and... I'm not a big Giga Drowse fan, but I think it's... I think it's fine. Yeah, but there's so many things in modern that are killing planeswalkers that aren't creatures. What does Tamio do that Teferi and Garrick don't? Silence doesn't really do much. I don't like silence at all because like you can't respond to a spell by playing it. You just have to like play it and hope they have it. We'll take out one exhaustion and we'll take out one fertile ground. Alright, let's give this a shot. Come on, feel the noise. Plow under. I do like plow under. But it's not really... In modern, it's not really a... Hmm. I'll keep this hand. See this hand? Watch, this is the best hand yet. Because we got the Fertile Ground and the Utopia Sprawl. Oh, man. This is where I want to be. Where do the people are? It's from Little Mermaid. Remember that? Remember Little Mermaid? 
Never seen it. You've never seen Little Mermaid? No, nah, man. Bullshit. No, man, I'm being truthful. No, I'm not. Chris seen Little Mermaid, man. Oh, I added three mana? Good lord. Whenever Channel Line is tapped for mana, controller adds one mana. Oh, yeah, we're just going to keep on. Keep on rolling. Gosh. Look at all my beautiful lands. In before land destruction. I mean, if they can... These are both basics, so they don't get hit by Blood Moon. They don't get hit by Stony Silence. Oh, God. Oh, no. Are we dead? Oh, God. In before Team or Battle Rage, deal is 16. 18. Oh, okay, just... Uh, he forgot to attack. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! <laughs> they just wanted to send a message, I guess. Look what I can do. I guess we Utopia Sprawl on here. No, it's not a forest. So I guess we have to do it on here. Oh, God. So we can add a green. Utopia Sprawl here. Time Warp, right? All right, well, land? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Sprawl and Warp is the name of my uh, exercise video. <laughs> now Sprawl, now Warp. Now Sprawl, now Warp. Come on, now Sprawl and Warp. And Sprawl and Warp. Come on, y'all. Sprawling and Warping. All right, I guess we're just playing Jace here. This is the biggest forest I've ever seen. If we exhaust them, like, they're still going to be able to attack with these guys if they play land. Like, it doesn't tap their things. Imagine how much different this game would be if we were, took, like, 10 damage there. I think we're going to play a Jace, and then once they, uh... I don't want to snap warp, because I want to save the warp until I actually have something on board. Like, having a Jace on board allows us to keep going. Like, we can wait a turn, and then next turn we can go Jace Exhaustion. Yeah, I don't think they're going to scape shift us. If they do, that's pretty insane. I'd be impressed. I'd be impressed. Escape shift aggro. Cool. Opponent clearly. I'll, I'll give up 9 damage to exhaustion you. Okay, this guy's coming in. This guy's coming in hot. This is why I like dictate instead of Jace because now we could go end of turn dictate. I don't think Jace is great. We have we have other win conditions, so we don't have to even worry about Jace in the deck. Like we don't have to worry about like saving a Jace. You want to be able to flash it at the end of their turn so that you get the first card drawn and so that it helps you with your uh continuing to go off. Um, does it matter? Probably not. I'll get a breeding pool. Good lord. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play this. Uh, add a green. We'll use the green to put it on here, and we'll snapcaster. Now we're gonna do it because we can, because we can. So, f what is this? Five, six, seven. Yeah, all right. So six, seven. We can go snapperino. Yep. And pass. So we have eight mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's perfect, actually. All the blues in the world. No. 
And we never have to actually tick up Jace and give our opponents cards. Or tick up Dictate, rather. We never have to tick up Dictate. We just actually uh, draw the cards. I mean, I guess we're giving them cards if they take turns, but we don't have to give them cards during our turn. So, I guess we're just passing here. Speak of the devil. No, no, get out of here. Time warp. Nexus of fate. Eh, exhaustion's not bad. I'll exhaustion you. So... They're probably going to kill Jace, but then we get to go dictate end of turn. And they have to attack with both guys. So we can exhaustion them again after that, which is pretty good. Now I feel like we're getting somewhere. Yep, figured. Drama alert nation. I'm just going to block here because Snapcaster is not worth a bit. Jace Beller into me. Ooh, yeah, we win this game. Yeah, it was definitely drama alert. I actually saved the, the post on my phone. I'll show it to you later. Yeah, it was some real Keemstar BS, I'm sure. Uh, all right. Oh, that's a good dude. Wow. How much mana can we make with this Garrick? The answer is a lot. Oh, boy, we did it. Here, you can have a card now. So, one, two. I'll make a white this time. One, two, three. So we're going to play Teferi. Draw a card. Garukums. Um, one, two. Green. Three, four. Grackums, McMackums, untap this and this. Play this. Add a blue. Exhaustion you. Everyone's been ex exhausted. And I'll untap these two. And if we had a Nexus of Faith there, we could have went ham. But... The fact they only get they can probably get play a fetch land here. They can attack one of our planeswalkers and kill it. Which is unfortunate, but the old negative one mana Teferi, a classic. Oh, actually they can't kill Teferi because it, this is only a four out of five. Oh, hold on. Things are happening. Explore. Well, there you go. Now it's a now it's a six. Now you get to eat the Teferi. We're still drawing three cards next turn, which I'm pretty okay with. Actually, one alternative would have been to actually tuck this guy, and then Teferi survives. That's basically a time walk. Man. So, Cryptic Man just basically crushes here, right? It's uh, pretty good. Dang. Okay. I accept. My last basic. Uh, let's tap all your dudes. One, two. Add another blue, blue, blue. Excellent commentary from... Yeah, he's good. He's good. Pretty good. That was good. It's uh, muy bueno. Muy bueno. Dang, land. All right, now we need, now we need to keep the train rolling. Now we're at a point where we're like, okay, we have to hit something. Sure.
Okie dokie. Ready? Oh, we did it. Oh, we won the game. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. I'm gonna target this one planes. You ready? I'm gonna make a beastie boy. I guess you're making a party boy. I'm making a party boy? Yeah. So, next time we're going to Nexus of Fate. Draw a card. Draw another card. This is too many lands. Make a beast. Choose a character keep. I'll choose big boy. Blue. And. Six and seven. Nexus of Fate. Yep, and we're done. All right. And next turn we would ultimate Garuk. Garuk is on fire. We Someone don't... please assist him. Garuk is on fire. Uh, Nature's Claim could be cute if they have like Valakut and they're going for Prismatic Omen nonsense. Supreme Verdict is probably fine. Yeah, cast Nexus free draw is probably the correct play. It is. It's 100% the correct play. You can see how good Exhaustion was there. I think Exhaustion is the component that you're missing. It's basically, like, no one... It, it's just a three-minute time warp, basically, in Modern. It's uh, pretty good. Plus, Garrett can untap and cast it, as we mentioned. Um... I like Supreme Verdict, but I don't think we actually need it. I mean, I guess if our opponent doesn't actually accidentally not attack us for nine, it's probably more... Yeah, that made a huge difference. More good. It's more good. More better. That's true. Muy bueno. <laughs> Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Well, I'm going to keep it because Serum Vision. And they went to six. We, they basically can't win. Basically can't win. Muy bueno. As long as there is a green source among these, there was. I want to bottom you even though I really want you. Oh, and there was another breeding pool here. So I always forget to look at what I drew. You should remember that. You should remember that. Or I'll cut you. I'll hit you again. Oh, I like Garrick untap exhaustion. That's a good, that's a good boy. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. So we could go... Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Uh, choose a mana type. Green. Put the sprawl on here. Say blue. Tap for green. Garrick. Untap two, and we're going to exhaustion. So Garrick's going to go to one, but should survive. I can't imagine they have a creature that comes down with haste. Yep, they didn't do anything, so now 
Uh, I'm pretty sure this this is where the magic happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually go Jace time warp. Yeah, all right, cool. Blue, Jace. Oh, and we get to play land, too. Um, no. Untap you and you. You can add Sprawl to the forest. Got him. Do you see me wreck him? I think so. You think you saw it? I think so. One, two, three, four. Actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not there yet. Let's draw a card. So I guess we're just parting the water wheel here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll put it on this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Two, blue. Blue, 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 blue. Ah! I can't do that yet. <laughs> God, this deck is hard to manage. Boop, boop. Uh, boop. Green. And a million. Castle Awaken on this guy. One, two, three, four. One, two, and then one. Dang, we're out of things. Um, here we go. Here we go. Untap two lands. So out of blue. Untap this and this. Out of white. There's a green on here. Make a blue because we don't care. Oh, we just win the game. All right, fantastic. <laughs> that seems good. Yeah, I like this configuration better. Uh, I think the Teferi is is great. I think Garrick is great. The exhaustion really feels like what you needed. And also dictates doing exactly what you want it to every turn, only by, like, Jace, you can't attack it, right? Like, it's not as easy to attack. Anything that kills Jace is likely going to kill... Anything that kills Dictate is already going to kill Jace, like an Abrupt Decay. But you can also have Lightning Bolts that kill Jace. You can have creatures that... one two two usually kills a Jace after a negative. So, I think this is probably a better configuration. I think Exhaustion was the missing component. Um, I also think it's fantastic with Garrick and the Toby Sprawls and the Fertile Grounds. Snapcaster, I still think it's fine in the late game. Getting back a Time Warp. Just, it just lets you have Time Warp. It's just Time Warp 5 and 7. And if you need a Serum Vision or an Exhaustion, it's also fantastic. So, Or Cryptic Command. Any of these are fine. Like, if you guys are looking and saying, like, oh, you don't have 1 and 2 mana spells to cast with Snapcaster, you're just looking at Snapcaster incorrectly, I think. But... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And uh, Mike, thanks so much for showing me this list. I think it's sweet. Uh, hopefully you have taken something away. Um, but if you're winning in your local like local events with this, with the way it was, then by all means play that. Um, I was just getting paired against mono red decks, and I don't I don't mean only solely red decks. I mean all. I don't mean decks that are only red. I mean only you know what? Forget it. We're gonna let it go. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you next time.